Okay, what I'm going to try and do now is do a, a longer video just to try and finish this off a bit. So it's the barbarian's turn. So he's going to roll. He's got a seven. So he's going to open this door, and when we come back, the contents of whatever behind the door up behind the door will be revealed. Okay, <clears throat> so this is what is revealed in here. We have a cupboard, two orcs, a flickering fire, and a chaos warrior. So it could be a bit of trouble here. So the barbarian threw uh, a seven. So can he get round to that chaos warrior? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, he can't. So he might as well just try and take out whatever he can. Um, he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. And he's going to have a go at the orc. One hit. Dice rolling has been awful for me. And there's one body point gone off that orc. We now have the dwarf. And he's rolled an eight. So they've got to try and kill off whatever they can. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. And he is going to have a go at the orc as well. One hit. And he's dead. So at least that's one less character to attack us. So the orc is gone. We now have the wizard. Just trying to see what sort of spells the wizard has got. Okay, what the wizard is going to do, he's going to cast sleep. This spell will put one monster or player to sleep. They may try to defend themselves by rolling one die per mind point. If they manage to roll a shield, they are unaffected. Once put to sleep, they must roll a six at the start of their turn before they can move again. So, he's going to move in, because he's got to be able to see him. One, two, three. And he's going to cast that spell on the Chaos Warrior. Now, Chaos Warrior's mind points are three. So he's got three dice in which to roll a black shield. And he has. So he has survived. He's not fallen asleep. So that is bad news. But what I have forgot to do is reveal a spell card. Because a new room was revealed. So I'll do that now. Cloud of Chaos. This spell paralyzes all heroes located in the same room or corridor. A paralyzed hero is unable to move, attack or defend himself. The spell can be broken at once or on a future turn by each victim rolling one red die for his mind points by rolling a six to free himself. So I made a bit of a mistake there. I'm not going to go back and rectify it. Um, I'm going to do it now because they've now moved all into this room and that is when the um, spell has taken uh, effect. So we'll start with the Barbarian. He has two mind points, so he's got to get a six. He doesn't. So what I will do is I will lie him down because he cannot be used. The Dwarf now has three mind points but he's got a six on one anyway so he's okay and the wizard has six mind points so he's failed on two failed on four and he's got it so he stays awake so the, the barbarian is fast asleep at the moment he could be killed here um, because you only need, he can't really defend himself, I don't think. Yep, he can't attack or defend himself or anything. So it is now the evil wizard player's turn. So we're going to start with the orc, and obviously they've got to go up against the barbarian. It's the only way, really, he was in this slot here. So I'll stand him up. 
and he'll move around the back and he will attack the Barbarian. The Barbarian's got three body points. He's safe anyway because there's no hits on him. Chaos Warrior now can move six squares. He can't actually get to the Barbarian so he's going to have a go against the Wizard and he gets uh, how many dice does he get? He gets three dice in attack and four in defense. So he's got one hit at the moment against the wizard. And the wizard has survived it. So we're going to move straight on to the hero phase. This is going to be for the barbarian. He's got two dice. He's got to get a six. He doesn't, so he still stays asleep. We now have the Dwarf, and he's got five, so they've got to concentrate all their efforts, really, on this guy. So he's going to attack. Two hits, Chaos Warriors have two body points, but he's got four dice in defence. And he's dead. Brilliant stuff. So the Chaos Warrior didn't do anything at all, luckily. We now have the wizard. He scored nine. So he's going to have a go at this orc. Don't forget he's got two dice now because he's got a spear. He's got two hits. And the orc is dead. So that is brilliant. I'll move quickly on to the next round. So we're going to do the barbarian again. Still can't move, so we're going to do the Dwarf, he's got a 9, so he's going to move up here and he's going to search. Now inside the bookcase is 30 gold coins and a potion of healing. So the Dwarf has now got a potion of healing, he's moved and searched so he can't actually use it. We now have the wizard's turn, and the wizard basically is just going to stay where he is. So when we come back, uh, the next room will be revealed. Hopefully the barbarian will wake up, but the other two are going to go on without him, see how far they can get. So until then, I'll just give you a quick look at this room. And as always, thanks for watching and catch you guys later.